Do you have a favorite quilting subscription box that you love to receive? Let me know which one is your favorite down in the comments. Today I am sharing the February Open Gate Quilt subscription box. I adore this subscription box. It is, in my opinion, one of the best subscription boxes out there. It comes with two projects and some extra goodies. So I'm going to open up this box and pick one of them to make right here, right now, so that you can see one of the projects come together. But before I pick, we have to open this box and see what's inside this month. So let's do that. All right, so here is the February box. Let's open it up and just dive in. Let's just, let's just get going. Let's get started. Let's look at everything. Okay, so we have our paperwork that lets us know everything in the box. And let's set all of this to the side and go through it one by one. All right, so I'm going to go in order of the paperwork. So this is project number one. So this is our large project. And, okay, let's be honest. I'm not going to be able to say that word. You can phonetically tell, how, tell me how to say it in the comments. So it's special dial, I think. And this is Fabrics from Quiet Grace by Kim Dial. I apologize that I'm sure I'm butchering the last name. And this is for Henry Glass Fabrics. So we have the fabrics here to complete a project. Beautiful fabrics. There is the project. Some classic star blocks there, but I like that there's like a checkerboard center to them. Very beautiful. Let's take a closer look at the fabrics. So it looks like We have our background fabric here, and then all of our other fabrics, absolutely gorgeous. They all go together so nicely. How pretty is that? It's going to make an absolutely gorgeous quilt. So it says that this quilt will come out to 27 by 27 inches, perfect for a table topper or something like that a lot of fun to put together. So of course, when I pulled everything out of the box, I could see what all the projects were. And I absolutely love this project. However, I think one of you will love this project too. And since I'm going to do the small project in this video, I think I should give away this project to one of you. I'm sure some of you would love to see how the projects are formatted, see if this is a box that you would love to subscribe to. So what I'm gonna do is give this project away to one of you. It's going to be a random drawing on my channel on our Wednesday Live that is coming up. So I'll put the exact date and I, when I get the live scheduled, I'll put that link in the description below as well. So you'll want to hop on that live so that you can enter to win this kit. It'll be a fun way to see if you love the Open Gate Quilt Projects. All right, so next up is the second project here and I'm going to show you this close up so you can see what it is, but isn't it so cute? This is the one I'm gonna work on in this video. So this is project two and it is a set of four coasters and oh my goodness when I saw that design when I was pulling these out I was like this I need to make it is so cute so look at let's look at it closer so project two includes coaster fabric from land of enchantment and there is backing fabric here fusible fleece and then the pattern so here are my coaster designs and I bet everybody is getting something a little different so there are mine. Oh, I really love these. I really love these two, but they're all so pretty. So that is the coaster fabric. This is the background fabric. And then we also have the fusible fleece to make this project. And I can tell you, this is why this is one of my favorite subscription boxes. I love that for the small project, we get everything we need to complete the project right here, right now. I love that even the fusible fleece is added in. So not all of us are going to have that, right? Not all of us use fusible fleece for our projects. So for something like this, I love that it's included and it's just the amount I need. So I don't have to run out and buy it. All right. So before I make this project, I'm going to show you the next few things that are in the box. 
We got a small spool of Aurifil thread. This will be perfect for putting together those coasters for me. And then we got a fat quarter. This is XOXO by April Rosenthal for Moda Fabrics. Love getting extra fabric, always appreciated, right? In each Open Gate subscription box, there is a notion of the month. And in this box, we have the pin picker upper. It's a magnetic pin picker. So you can grab those metal pins so it has a magnetic end on it and it actually extends. So what I think is awesome about this is that I drop pins all the time when I am sewing at the machine. I'll think I grab it and didn't quite get a good grip on it and it falls to the floor. This is really nice for not having to bend over. You can be a little bit lazy and pick up the pins or if they fall into a hard to reach spot back behind your um, sewing desk. So I think this is really neat little add-on. I'll keep over by the sewing machine and I think it will come in really handy. So it's a pin picker upper for those lazy days graphic impressions is what it says on it. So a fun little notion I think will come in handy. All right, so the last item in my box is this add-on option. It is $12 to add on to your box to get four fat quarters. It's for coordinating fat quarters plus a fat quarter friendly quilt pattern. And I think it is absolutely worth it. It is so fun to get this add-on each month. Now there is another add-on option for this box. You can add on to get backing fabric for your large project as well if you want to. So keep those add-ons in mind if you plan to go subscribe to this box. All right, so here are my coordinating fat quarters and I'll show you the pattern as well. I absolutely love this fabric. I love blue fabric, so that stood out to me right away. So I have this red with kind of, it looks like writing on it. I'm not sure what it says, but I love the script look on there. And then I love the leaves. Then we have the red and blue, and then this blue fabric. I absolutely love this one. It's my probably my favorite in here, but they are all really pretty. All right, so the pattern that we got is called Jigsaw. It is 53 inches by 66 inches. And here you can kind of see how it looks. So that is the extra pattern. And You'll need 12 fat quarters to put this together and, oh no, you'll need 20 fat quarters for the blocks and then three and a half yards for backing. So that is what you'll need for this quilt. All right, so we're going to move on to putting these coasters together, but first I want to know what you think of the box this month. I thought it was absolutely amazing. I always do. I love the fabrics, there are always ones that I would choose for myself, which makes me happy when picking out a box. All right, so let's dive into the coasters. All right, so while I wait for my iron to heat up, I'm going to trim out these coaster motifs. And she did say in the, in the instructions that these may not be completely even and we all go through that with um, with panels right like they can end up being put a little wonky so I'm trying to see what I can do here to not lose too much of the design but still be able to utilize these I think what I'm actually going to do after looking at this I I'm just going to trim between them and when I sew them just kind of hope for the best <laughs> because you know what they're coasters they don't need to be perfect they're gonna just be cute and people aren't really gonna pay too close of mind to how even or lined up they are so that just took stress out of me I just cut them and you know what they're gonna be close okay so what we're gonna do with these is we're going to fuse the fleece onto it. Now in the instructions, it does say to cut them out into the proper size first and everything, but I'm gonna fuse it on and then cut out the size I need. I think that will be a little bit easier for me, but just make sure you fuse these together using the manufacturer's instructions for them. 
So I am just going to hold the iron on for about, you know, five to ten seconds going across it. Let it cool down, make sure the fuse was good. I'm trying to avoid getting on to the, the glue since I didn't trim them exactly to size. But I'm going to press these after two. And as long as I get the fuse on pretty good, I think we'll be fine. All right, so now I'm going to square these up. And since I'm working on this smaller mat, it's going to take me a little more cutting than normally would. A few more cuts, because normally I'd cut this into the strip size I need and then subcut it down. But we're just going to do it this way to make quick work of it. Well, maybe not quick work of it, but we're going to get the work done. <laughs> Ooh, I almost cut it. At least it would have been cut larger than I need. All right, so now I'm going to trim these down in the other direction to the size I'm looking for. I love fun projects like this, like just quick and easy projects that you can get done right away. It kind of breaks up like when you're doing a lot of large projects and you know are are really focused on something big it it just feels really good to have a project like this that you can get done really fast and see something completely finished in a day or heck even in 30 minutes to an hour i just really love projects like this Well, I cut that a little wonky since I was at the end of this up on these. It's fine. It'll work out. After getting all of your pieces cut, you're going to place one of your coaster designs right side together on top of the backing fabric that has the fusible fleece attached to it. You're going to take it over to the sewing machine and sew a quarter inch seam around the coaster, leaving about a two inch opening so that you can turn the coaster later. After getting the coaster all sewn up, you are going to trim excess away from all sides. I like to trim across the corners especially, and that will help when turning to get nice points. You'll flip this right sides out, press it really well, tucking in that opening you left open, and then just top stitch around it to close it up and your coaster will be finished. It's a quick, quick project. So here we go. Here are the finished coasters. They are so quick to make and they are so, so cute. I absolutely love these. They were so fun to make. Adorable. I can't wait to use them. And they would make a great gift too. So if you find this panel or something similar, you could stack them up, tie them with a little bow, and they would make an adorable gift to someone. All right, so that was the Open Gate Quilt subscription box for February. I thought it was another amazing box. I absolutely love this quilt subscription box. Now, if you would like to try and join us for a live and win this amazing project kit from the Open Gate Quilt subscription box, be sure to tune in on February 14th during our live Yes, that is Valentine's Day. I know some of you may have plans, so I apologize in advance if you do have plans and can't make it to that live. But if you don't have plans, join us. We will have a lot of fun sewing and chatting, and then there will be that giveaway for that project. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.